How many of you of these have you done today, Terrence? Uh, a, a few. few. A few. Yeah. <laughs> That's very polite, but thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. It is a an absolute privilege to talk to you. You are, you know who you are, you know what you are, you know what you've achieved. <clears throat> Your biography is uh, uh, eye-wateringly embarrassing to the likes of me who pitch up every day and do work, but you've delivered some extraordinary work uh, to the world. Oh, and, and thank you for that contribution. It's, uh, it's wonderful to, to be a part of your world and, and, and uh, the fact that you continue to share it um, is extraordinary, but um, congratulations on your most recent work, uh, which is why we're here today. Um, mm. We're not going to spend too much time talking about your legacy because that's well documented and available mm -hmm. everywhere. But um, you know, um, when I was listening to the listening to the record, it to me it was more about it was music for these times, um, and I definitely got a sense from the way in which it was presented that. Uh, it was it was speaking to that would you agree with that well that's exactly what we've tried to do with everything that we do we try to create music that's relevant you know i'm one who really respects the history and the the uh the in the past uh music that has been created by all of our giants you know in the music world but i'm not of that generation you know my my quest has always been to try to find the sound and harmonies that really relate to what it is that we do. And uh, with this tribute to Wayne Shorter, I kept thinking the best way to, to show Wayne how much he means to us is to not just, uh, you know, do arrangements on his recordings, but to actually put some of our own compositions next to his to see to let him see how much he's influenced all of our lives musically. Mm, mm, mm. And I mean, it's, it, 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 it is a, it's a tall ask, you know, you take someone like Wayne, who mm -hmm. is a legend uh, in his own right. And then as you yeah. said, it, reciprocally, respectfully looking to complement that contribution. It, it must've been, it, it's no small task. No, it isn't, you know, but at the same time, you can't be over. I mean, listen, emotionally, you will be overwhelmed by Wayne's music. I mean, he's just he's just a genius and he's brilliant. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to be honest about where you are in your career, where you are in your development um, and just constantly trying to move forward. Mm -hmm. The other thing about putting our music next to Wayne's is is for us to see what what it is that we have to work towards, you know. Mm -hmm um and still uh, uh grow and experience things and try to expand our consciousness mm -hmm. which i think this album definitely acknowledges that um and also you know the influence that has uh, you know informed your career to you know throughout and i think that's uh, you know i think that's commendable and I'm hoping that it's been met well, um, certainly with the people that you intended it to. But um, I was chatting to a friend of mine yesterday and we were talking about <clears throat> you and obviously the, the journey that you've walked. Um, and obviously in South Africa, we have, you know, the late great Hugh Masakela to reference. We've got um, a good few people that have kind of been part of the pillars that have created what is arguably modern jazz today. Um, but the question that came up was, um, define your jazz, because jazz, mm. you get mm. the question, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, listen, that's the whole idea behind jazz. For me, I mm. mean, you know, jazz is all encompassing. You know, it's about personal expression. There's mm. an actual tune on this album called I Dare You, mm. because that's, Wayne Shorter's definition of what jazz is. It means I dare you. I dare you to try something new. I dare you to go in this direction. Yeah. You know, um, so for me, 
I, I think that question it always puts us in a scenario where we we well some people may pigeonhole themselves thinking that they have to fit into a box of what they think jazz is and you know i'm not one who subscribes to that mode of thinking you know there is a tradition of jazz obviously there's a lineage that has evolved over decades Which you but the yeah of course but but the the tradition in jazz has always been to break tradition you know okay. that's been the thing you know if 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 people were just trying to respect the tradition, we wouldn't have Charlie Parker. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have John Coltrane or Thelonious Monk. Mm -hmm. You know, those guys, you know, they bucked the trends. They, they found their own voice and they utilized that to tell us musical stories, man, throughout their careers. That's what I've been trying to do my entire life. I, you know, there was a period in my life where I wanted to be Miles Davis and Wayne Shorter combined, you know. <laughs> and then I met both of those guys, you know, and I realized that that wasn't going to happen when I met them, you know, because I, I could see how their music was closely tied to their personalities. Mm -hmm. And that was the moment, that was one of the moments in my life where, you know, it just starts to become apparent to you you know, this music is about your own personal journey, your mm -hmm. own personal experiences, and putting that down on paper and hopefully getting a group of musicians who can take it and expand on it to create something much bigger than what you originally perceived. Mm -hmm. But it's a wonderful place to be because you get to reinterpret politely and you're given permission to do that because that's kind of what jazz insists, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, Jazz is all about personal expression and freedom, mm. you know. Um, and, and, but the thing about I, I think the thing that people really have to understand is like it's like learning French, mm. you know. There, there, there are rules to to that. There are things that you have to adhere to. But at the same time, once you learn the language, you're free to say whatever it is you want to say, mm. you know, and, it's and, and it's respected, which is wonderful. Yes, yes. So I think that's the same thing that happens in jazz. You know, mm. there is a long, long history to be absorbed yeah. by, by young artists, right? Yeah. But it's, it's to be absorbed, not consumed by. There's Agreed. a huge difference. Agreed. And, and again, like you said earlier, to be reinterpreted so that it can be resuscitated and it gets to live on. Right, exactly. Mm, 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 mm. Because <clears throat> listening to this album, there's, there's so much going on um, that it's, you know, obviously it, it's an album that you you want to live with. You want to, uh, certainly with all of your work, but it's, you know, what I loved was the strings and the classical infusion. It was like, it was an incredible melting pot of possibility. Mm -hmm. Was that the intention? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, um, it's all about trying to experiment and put things together. I mean, it's, it's literally um, a moment where you, 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 you want to say something, but you want to find your own way of saying it, mm. you know? And uh, when Fabian said that he wanted to write for string quartet for this album, I went, oh, okay, great. So we all can do that. And then my wife was the one who came up with the idea of the Turtle Island String Quartet because she knew of their work. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought it would be great to work with them too because they're not only just an, uh, an incredible string quartet, David Balakrishnan is an incredible writer, mm -hmm. as you can hear on the album. Oh, yeah. And the guys in the band are incredible, are incredible jazz musicians, you know? Um, so we've, we've been having a great time playing with them live, you know? And obviously we had a great time making the record. But I think it's one of those things where, you know, you, you wouldn't naturally put us together in your, in your thoughts and minds. Mm -hmm. But when we did do it, you know, it came together in a way that made a whole lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it so does on the record. Because mm -hmm. when, when you listen to the record, it's almost like you've got this wonderful accompaniment. But then your trumpet, your contribution is your voice. Mm -hmm. And each note, is is almost like a vocal delivery you know through an instrument which which i think is 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 rare and um really separates this album and what you do from your peers 
Well, I mean, listen, I've listen, Jason, I've always been that dude who wished he could sing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's funny. My my father uh, could sing. He was a baritone, and my son he can sing. Uh, but it just it must have skipped a generation, dude. Man, you know. So uh, they, my dad sang in church, and they 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 put me in a choir for one Sunday. Man, they heard me sing one Sunday, and that was it. They were like, "Okay, is it, is it, <laughs> give him yeah. an instrument." Yeah, yeah. They, they, they were like, "Doesn't he play the horn?" Well, he could praise the Lord by playing his horn. That's that's what he could do. Uh, you know. So 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 you know, I literally tried. I've always had that uh idea or concept in my playing was to be to, which would be to sing mm -hmm. you know it's it's not just about playing a flurry of notes you know but but a lot of times sometimes the, the deepest thing to do is just what could possibly be the simplest thing to do you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. our blakey our blakey taught me that man because he said no a lot of drummers can't play blues march or moaning because it's too simple he just plays the 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 that's what he plays the entire time. Yeah, you know what I mean. And a lot of times, guys will want to be too hip. And he always used to say that he always used to say that never be too hip because two hips make an ass. That was his that was his favorite thing to say to us all the time. And it's entirely true, you know, if you have to think about it. But no, I mean, I know we're short on time, but I just have one last question: is that why now to celebrate, you know, um, you know, someone like Mr. Shorter? Well, it was because I don't want to wait till he's not with us anymore. And Wayne has been a great friend, man, and he's been a great mentor. Every time I've been around Wayne, it's been a it's been a a beautiful experience, not only as a learning experience, but just as a friend. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. he's a very funny guy. You know, he's a he's a sweetheart, man. He has the warmest heart of anybody I've ever seen. Uh, and I thought it would be time just to tell Wayne we love him dearly. We love everything that he's contributed to the world of music. I love personally what he's contributed to my life and my family's life, you know, and I just wanted to tell him that and say thank you. That is, I mean, that's an extraordinary gift um, to, to give to someone. I'm hoping that it has been well received. Oh, man. No, wait, listen, you know, before we started the recording, you know, I took the the band and the Turtle Island String Quartet to Wayne's house just to hang out with him for a day, mm. you know, and it was such a moving spiritual experience for everybody, man. The guys in the band were coming up to me when we got to the studio and they kept saying, man, thank you for the day, man. Thank you. That was incredible. Thank you. And I know exactly what they meant. You know what I mean? When you encounter Wayne, it's, it's I can't explain it, you know, but he's he's a very warm gentle soul that has a brilliant mind you know and he's able he's one of those guys that's able to encapsulate very deep and very thoughtful concepts within a few words you know and when he's and when he says them to you you know it stops you in your tracks mm -hmm. and you go oh okay and he's just talking yeah you know he's yeah. you know he's just it's just throwing it off the top of his head yeah. And that ha and that was for, for a lot of the guys, that was the first time they encountered Wayne personally. Mm -hmm. And man, it was just a moving day for everybody that that was there that day. And that was the fuel that made what you have yeah. created. And for that, we thank you uh, thank so, you. so much. And thank you again for your time today. I know it's precious, but uh, we appreciate mm -hmm. it. We love the work, scores and uh, albums alike, and we wish you all the very, very, very best, sir. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it, Jason. You're good. Have a great weekend, sir. Okay, man. You guys take care. Thank you.